All right, I want to talk about something called the Reynolds Transport Theorem, which is going to help us. It's basically the math that's going to help us get through the next three chapters of uh, trying to do mass, momentum, and energy balances on control volumes. So um, just to remind you, like we did a lot of work in Chapter 3 to relate rates of change of quantities with respect to time. Um, between Eulerian points of view and Lagrangian points of view. So as a reminder, the Eulerian point of view is that we are going to try to characterize velocity at particular fixed points in space um, over time. Um, but that's not how the laws of the universe are written. They're written in a Lagrangian frame, meaning following the movement of material. Um, and so, like, for example, we came up with this material derivative as a point-wise way to keep track of the relationship between velocities in Eulerian coordinate systems and the acceleration that um, appears in F equals ma in the Lagrangian system. So now what we need to do is the complement of that for control volumes. So instead of doing things as a point, we need to do the same thing but for finite size control volumes. And again, the reason we need this is because the rules of the universe are written um, following a fixed amount of material. So like conservation of mass, conservation of energy, conservation of linear momentum, those all directly apply when you're following material. So like the, you know, the, um, the rate of change of mass is zero, that's conservation of mass, when I follow a fixed amount of mass. Um, the rate of change of energy um, depends on you know heat flux and work being done on a fixed chunk of material and the rate of change of the total linear momentum of a system depends on the sum of the external forces. Those are all things that are written from the point of view of a fixed amount of mass.